Well, texting is by far the, the number one way your customers want to hear from. It's, it's crazy to me how you can build a business and have all these transactions happening and not even know who these customers are. People aren't concerned anymore about resume jumping. Your brand is who you are. Um, you are only as strong as your brand. Your job as a business is to make sure that the most people possible know about your business. We need to show that we're taking the necessary precautions and making sure that we're keeping the communities healthy amongst you know everything that's going on. What can I do right now that's gonna affect my business positively moving forward? Take, take this time to put together something, something awesome as far as your content goes. Now is the time to be on social. Even do some TikToks, start yeah. dancing. I'm trying to make sure I can squeeze out every second of revenue that I can. Never underestimate the value of communication with your customer. Set yourself up to come out of this stronger on the other side of it. Businesses, they, they get the order wrong, where they have mm -hmm. amazing content, but mm -hmm. if there's no eyes on it, then it doesn't really matter. And being flexible like that, I think, is key in times like this. There's just not going to be the time to like do this old school hiring process. Hey, I couldn't find your guys' apartment, but I left it at the pawn shop. Samantha ate my burrito. We are retraining people's habits. Constraints and challenges are just this fertile ground for unbelievable innovation and creativity. You don't want to have commission breath with your customers coming in the door. You just want to be genuinely happy to see them. Procedures and things on PowerPoint presentations and you know PDFs are wonderful, but are they being executed? The restaurant leaders that are ahead of the game and are thinking through how they're going to reopen and what is their restaurant of the future going to look like are the ones that are going to win. They're going to come out stronger in the end. Diversity is probably the most critical element to being able to manage any kind of critical blow to one part of your revenue vertical. I would advise that uh, you put one foot on survival mode and then you put your other foot on reinvention mode. If you just think you're going to open the doors and everything's going to be just like it was, you're basically, you're in denial. I mean, the big thing is, is like, you're going to have to change things up. You got to get ready for the new world and technology is going to drive it. You'll be surprised how much your creativity and your grit will pull you through. You know, we could collect as much data as we can, but that doesn't do anything for us if we're not taking action. We want to make sure we have data-driven decisions. Balancing this triple bottom line of becoming an employer of choice, a destination of choice, and an investment of choice was uh, life-changing. This kind of current COVID landscape and then the days to come is going to provide a, a real opportunity for restaurants to earn trust. Social media, I mean, honestly, it, that's the, the key, right? They're on social media, they're on their mobile phones. So shouldn't we talk to them there? If you have the good data, it should point you where questions need to be answered. And if you're hiring on your values, uh, generally everyone is rowing in the same direction. Then your message better speak to that demo um, and, and not necessarily a generic message saying, come to my store, you'll love it, and you'll buy something. It's crucial that you explore new opportunities to connect with them and show them how valuable they are to you. We're about Kaizen. We, we want to continuously improve. There's a legitimately big advantage to shopping and eating local um, that I think people are realizing. But we're going to see you know, the world come together in a way that, that frankly we've been needing. The only way to kind of evolve and really understand what's happening in the operation and, and whether it be uh, from an internal operation perspective or from a guest perspective uh, is having strong data. Mm -hmm. That we really have an opportunity to make someone smile and people are so starved for attention. Anytime you have to change the, the, the customer's um, uh, path to purchase, it is when you see the pretty steep drop-offs. Part of the culture of food safety is to really reinforce how big of a deal this is. But I think restaurants really have to figure out their point of difference within the community. The reality is we've got a lot of information about what uh, essentially the carriers for vaccine and that sort of thing. So really what we're just looking at is the little tiny piece of the vaccine that relates to this individual um, a virus. You know, it doesn't matter if you're three, three units, 20 units, 500 units, whatever the case may be, you've got to have a sense of, of being nimble. All right, I'm not going to get the sales lift. Where within my organization can I um, be, be more efficient? 
I mean, the one thing you can ever do in, in the restaurant business is, is kind of look at what you did yesterday. Because really what's happening is we're in the, we're in the time of channel management. I think the mistake a lot of brands make is they don't have the end in mind. 